When I was a real little guy, maybe five or six years old, I remember going into my mother, Allah Shalom's bedroom, and she had a dresser. On top of the dresser was a mirror, and behind me was another mirror. And the two mirrors were facing each other. And I looked, and I saw me, but I also saw me reflected from the other mirror. And the reflection was bouncing forth and back, forth and back, many, many times. And I remember as a little boy trying to find the last me. But because it kept on bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, I could never find the last me. And I think that's an important parable to marriage. You ever watch a couple when they come into the Rov's office or to a marriage therapist, and you ever hear them both say, we both agree it's his fault? No, no, we both agree it's her fault. That's not what you hear. Her fault, his fault, her fault. Why is that? <clears throat> because each of them have a lot that they've done. Each of them have a lot that they've said. <clears throat> and astonishingly, I remember vividly and clearly what she said, but I forgot what I did that precipitated that. <clears throat> and this is the ninth mistake, <clears throat> the really dumb mistake that many very smart couples engage in. They play the blame game. Your fault, your fault, your fault. <clears throat> the ability to remember that I do things that are wrong and my spouse does things that are wrong and I have to learn to overlook and get beyond them and not play the blame game is one of the keys to a successful marriage. You have just seen an excerpt from the Marriage Seminar. The entire seminar is available free of charge at theschmooze.com.